everybody, and welcome to Double Dare, our special Down and Dirty edition. I am your host, Vinny the Guinea, that's right. So let's take a look right over here to my left, these beautiful young ladies. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, What's your name? Hi. Tell me a little bit about yourself. My name's Priscilla. I'm the biggest horn known to the world. Good. I'm going <laughs> to wash my hand after this one. And your name is? My name is Jennifer, a.k.a. Blow Me Susan. All righty. I'll yeah. remember that when I'm hard up. Okay. Let's take a look over here to my right where we have these stalking men right here. You are? Tell me a little bit about yourself. My name is Miguel, and I'm a big old horn dog. All right, nice to meet you. And you are? My name's Christos. I uh, love feet, and I'm an avid fan of Dave Couillet. Very nice. Thank you so much. And you have a firm grip there. I can only imagine what you do with that hand. All right, what's going to happen is I'm going to ask a series of questions related to today's topic and theme, okay? If a selected group doesn't get the question right, they can dare their opponent, okay? <coughs> and then the opponent can double dare if they don't know the answer. And then the opposing team, yet again, could either answer the question or take a physical challenge. And speaking of a physical challenge, we're going to start off today the right way to see who gets control of the board and the points with our first physical challenge. Are you ready? Come on, are you yeah. ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Come on around to the DZ, our Go dare on. zone. Thank you so much, Chris, our wonderful stage hand, who is giving us all the props today. So, first things first, you're probably wondering, why do we have blow-up dolls? Yeah. Well, who can give a blow job good on this team? I can. That's all I need to blow me too. Excellent. And who can give a good blow job on this team? On your marks, get set, and go. Oh boy, look at Jen knows. She's got the experience and Jen knows how to blows. Look at her going. I'm sorry. Congratulations, the ladies win. Next question, ladies. Three places where syphilisores mainly occur. Okay, Jen, think really good now. Come on, Jen. They occur in the anus, the vagina, and the mouth, which is something I know a lot about. Do you know this from experience? I plead the fifth. Well, you're pleading the fifth was correct, because you got them right. Three STDs that are still incurable. Tell me, what are they? Physical challenge. Physical challenge. OK, before we go into that, folks, the three STDs that are still incurable would be the ever so preventable HIV, herpes, and of course, hepatitis B the three H's, okay? So we're gonna go into a physical challenge right now. Come around here into the DZ, the dare zone, where we will take you in to our next physical mm -hmm. challenge. All right, this is a fun one. Thank you again, Chris. And right now, what we're going to uh, experiment with is the hobby of cross-dressing. Has anybody here ever cross-dressed? Ah, so I take it that you're gonna be cross-dressing for the female That's team. That's right. And who will be cross-dressing for the males? I'll do. Very nice. And we even know that you have a foot fetish, so we got you these pretty little tongs yeah. to put on. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah. 45 seconds yeah. or less. We're going to set it on the clock. The judges are inside. Whoever gets the most clothes on wins. Control the board and the points. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, Let's and go. go. And Priscilla is trying to dress before his wife gets home. Congratulations. The gentlemen have definitely done this one before. You're looking good, though. You're looking good. You are still on top. That's right. You're riding it the right way. Now, our next question is a true or false question, and it goes like this. By their 18th birthday, females, now normal females, not females like these ones, okay? Females have had more sex than men. This is true or false. Can you tell me the answer? Dare. Dare. Wink. Let's take it over here, ladies. By your 18th birthday, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about other girls in the neighborhood. True or false? Who's had more sex? Males or females? Double dare. Oh, double dare. We're taking it back over to you guys. And you know, if you don't have it, you can do the, of course, physical challenge. Physical challenge? OK, we're going to go into the physical challenge. Folks, the answer was true. More females by the 18th birthday do have sex than men, OK? So that was a little piece of trivia for you. And right now, bring it down into the DZ for our next <laughs> physical challenge. Here we go. This is how we're going to do it. Ooh, bananas. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I am going to take a step back because this can get messy. Let us wait until I say get ready. Don't be one minute man. We know you are. Ready? Start to peel it on your mark. Get set and go. Oh, ladies. Look how rough you are with you men. Stay away from me. I don't want you breaking my tool. Congratulations, fellas. Go around. All right, our next question. Very simply, what is the technical term for one of my favorite meals? The crabs. Mm. What's the technical term for it? I'm not talking about the actual crabs you eat, though. 
Come on, ladies. We're gonna dare. You're gonna dare? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come over there because they dared. What's the technical term for crabs? Uh, double dare. Double dare, ladies. <sighs> technical term, crabs. Think about it, you might know it. I'm standing to keep Physical challenge. Physical challenge, well. I'm gonna tell you first, it was scabies. Okay, oh. dare I say it's scabies. Now, here's scabies. our next scabies. physical challenge, and the only physical part about it is, of course, to move your finger and do something with it. No, ladies, calm down, okay? I'm talking about putting your finger on the bell and ringing in the answer, okay? By the way, all the points from here on out are doubling, okay? They've been doubling, and we're just letting you know that, okay? Just so you know. All right. We are going to put up in a moment on the screen one of the best images for you to lose your lunch if you're going on a diet. And the statistics for this go a little something like this. Oh. Oh, Sweet. Genital warts form around the head of this wonderful little phallus where the testicular fortitude hurts and often has to be shaved and constantly maintained. The warts look like raisins. Okay, we have a buzz in and it pees. It, it hurts when you pee. Okay, so I just wanted to finish that thought for people at home that are watching. I've seen this a lot of times. It's step-by-step -step Sasha Mitchell. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm so sorry. Not? Where do you come up with your answers? Oh, ladies? We know this one. We got it. My pen pad actually has this. It's called syphilis. Oh, oh. wow. That's correct. Yeah. I, I, I hope it. you've never had any encounters with this, have you? No, I just work for him. This game is tied up now. Let's do a tiebreaker. Oh, we were going oh. to do a tiebreaker, but that buzzer, Kaka, means... It is time for the end of the game with our final question. That's right, our final question of the night, where it sort of gets like Jeopardy now. You're going to wager points, and whoever has the highest amount of points at the end wins. So please do join us right now in this. I'm going to give you guys and girls a second to write down your wage, okay? While you do that nicely, I'm going to talk to our listeners at home. I want to thank you so much for watching us and staying with us each and every week. And of course, today is a very important lesson for you all. And thank you so much for paying attention and staying with us because you know it's all about being safe. That's all the time I'm going to give you now for writing down these uh, wonderful little wages of what you, you plan to show our audience after, okay? Quiet. Good. At this time, our final question goes like this. What year was HIV first identified in the United States? Once again, HIV, the year it was first identified in the United States. Is it A, 1983, B, very sad year, 1977 when we lost Elvis Presley, or C, 1981? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the ladies go first. Ladies first. It's B, B. like blowjob. B, no, no, but I will tell you something. You could do that afterwards because that's probably all you'll ever go back to doing because you're not winning this one. Oh, no. B, no, wrong, wrong. Gentlemen, back to you. It's C, the Golden Girls on Lifetime at 7 o'clock. <laughs> and then again at 11. Well, they're not on 7 or 11 anymore. They're on 9 a.m. every day, and well, you're also C, right? incorrect. No. no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so come on down out the back door because you lost too. Let us now see how much you were willing to wager and see who might win the game. Hold your, your numbers up to the cameras, please. Oh, ladies. Zero. Thank you so much, Andrew, in there for being so speedy and putting a nice big fat zero on their score. You suck, literally. Okay, let's take it over to the men. What do you got? Show them. It's a six. Oh, it's a six. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. Wink, yeah, come on. Yeah, come I don't think, I think so. you're at the dinner. I don't think so. It's a nine. Big fat zero again. Well, it goes to show, folks, there is no superior sex because they're both stupid species. And I want to thank you so much for listening. And remember, remember, the proper outcome to a safe and healthy future is education. Okay? Be safe. No glove, no love. I'm Vinny the Guinea, your host. You'll Thank you so much for joining Dude, us on this wonderful battle. edition of I Double Dare I Battle I of the Sexes. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being here today. Please, please, calm down. This is not what it's all about. It's not about fighting. Oh my god. Security! That was a goddamn six. It wasn't a six. You know it was. You suck. You suck. Suck. Well, quiet, please. Suck. We make more money doing our Where's sex Vinny than the you ever will. Kick his ass when I see uh. him.